brand new Season 4, Episode 1 of Adventures in Fly Tying. I'm your host, Joe Cornwall. We have a great show for you today. This is an absolute classic trout fly, the Brassy. Who hasn't fished a Brassy? This is probably one of the most productive of all the flies that you can use anywhere that you go. Imitates caddis, excellent in any size down to even a size 22. Very simple fly to tie, lots of variations. We're going to tie the classic, the original. I've only made one small concession to fashion, and that is I'm tying this on a curved shrimp or caddis style hook. The original Brassy was tied on a straight shank wet fly hook. We're tying this in a size 14, which is about as small as we can get and still videotape for you. Let's see how this one goes together. What a great little pattern. Go ahead and set up your hook in the vise. And I'm going to use an ordinary black thread. This is a 70 denier. Black thread. Get a base of thread going. And of course you can buy the brassy wire in a number of different sizes. You want to buy wire that'll kind of match the hook size that you want. Small, extra small. Uh, they actually have specific brassy sizes. Interesting little thing to think about. We're using copper wire on this, but the brassy wasn't originally tied with copper wire. Think it through. Brassy was tied with brass wire. And back in the 1970s, when this pattern first came into being, when you bought them from somebody who really knew how to tie them, you usually got them in a little tube and you got them within a week or so of when you were going to use them because they tarnished and you had to protect them from the elements and it was a, a one outing kind of a fly. So uh, it's really come a long way and of course the brassy has spawned the copper john and a bunch of other patterns. So all I've done is tie down that copper wire uh, so it's along the back of the hook and now we're going to start wrapping a very tight wire body. One of the reasons I really like this pattern is because this wire body adds a very streamlined and weighted design to this pattern. So if you fish this on a long light tippet, and I like to use fluorocarbon, a uh, four pound test or, or even smaller, a 6x, 5x, 6x, four pound test or three pound test, and you can fish this very deep with a floating line. Uh, a lot of times I'll be fishing this on a spring creek like the Mad River, uh, and I'll be bouncing along the bottom in three or four feet of water, even with a decent current, without ever having to use any split shot. So this is a great little pattern to get down. It's also a great pattern if you want to use this as the weight and then hang a very small, let's say a miracle nymph or a zebra midge off the back of it and uh, fish this in say a size 16 and then that little miracle nymph in a size 22 on some of the tailwater fisheries like the Cumberland River that I enjoy fishing so much. Now, you can get rid of the rest of this copper wire one of two ways. If you're going to cut it with your scissors, make sure you go way in the back of the scissors so you don't splay the scissors and ruin the blade. And then use your thumbnail to kind of burnish that little piece so that you don't cut your thread. Now, a couple of peacock curls. We're just going to use two of them. I like to cut off the tips because those are very fragile and they'll usually break on you anyway. Capture those under the thread. And advance my thread right behind the hook eye. Now, holding this up, I'm just going to twist it a couple of times, a little half twist, so that I get almost a peacock chenille out of it. And three or four nice little wraps will make the thorax of that little, that little guy right there. Could it be any easier than that? Could it be any easier than two simple materials in just a couple of minutes to tie a pattern any size from a size 14 that we're tying here, even a size 12, which is a really neat pattern, guys, for bluegills. Don't discount this one for bluegills. This is a nice little warm water pattern, uh, especially for pre-spawn bluegills in the springtime. But here you go. Tie that one down, all the way down to about a size 20 or 22. Now, a little bit of Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails. That is one indestructible classic trout fly. You just can't get them any better than the Brassy. This has got the long history. It's got thousands of fish to its credit. Man, what a fantastic pattern. You really have to have a few of these. And there's no excuse not to. It's just that easy to tie. Thanks for joining us on our mostly monthly adventures in fly tying, where we bring you a new fly in every month that has an F or a Z in it. Thanks and tight lines.